All right, guys, it is another perfect day in Mexico. There is not a cloud in the sky. It is stinking hot. Um, I've just woken up, so that's why I sound like Darth Vader. But um, I'm about to get ready and get my face on for, you know, a day in the sun. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. This is our stunning hotel, by the way. Um, all right, so... I don't really know how to start this video. I'm gonna tie my hair up. Um, so I'm in like the shittest mood ever because, um, so last night it was my Michael and I's one year and I posted this photo on Instagram of us like on the balcony at our hotel in Mexico. And um, everyone just shit themselves and started leaving like really disgusting comments. I don't usually read the comments, but then they started coming into my DMs and like all these women just saying nasty things and like horrible things about Michael and the fact that he's a teacher and just a lot of shit. And I just feel like, like leave, you know, if you don't like what you see, just leave. There's no need to be negative or leave a bad comment. Um, so I don't know, I just fucking, I shouldn't have read them, but I did because, oh, like you're human and you go and you read it out of curiosity, but. And then I just didn't really sleep because I was doing my head in, but. And I felt bad for Michael because he cops it as well. And basically what I want to say is like, why write like mean shit on people's photos? Like, I, no, look, all I want to say is, I don't know, just one comment that you leave on someone's page can literally instigate hundreds and hundreds of hateful comments like you start a, you start something you're starting something by leaving one mean comment on someone's page you just make it okay for other people to start writing comments like just imagine we only wrote nice things on people's photos just imagine that like I don't know, wouldn't that be nice? Like in, I have been an Instagram user since Instagram started. I don't know, when was that? Like since 2012, I have never written or left a nasty comment on someone's photo. Even if it's the most putrid dog shit photo, I would still never, ever, ever leave a nasty comment. Like I just wouldn't. Anyways, my face is swollen because I haven't slept and now I've got to do this skincare video and I'm really not feeling myself. And I, I can't even tie my hair up because like I just can't do anything. But basically that's all I wanted to say is before you write something, think, think, think about it. Would you like someone to write that on your page? Would you like someone to write that on your sister's page or your cousins or your aunties? Like think. And like the photo isn't even offensive. Like you can't even see, there's nothing. There's not even side boob in the photo chill the australian public needs to chill we are so sensitive like you can't even like the sex oh, oh my god how dirty oh my god side boob oh my god how nasty i just like are we fucking serious i'm not ashamed of being naked or my body or i don't know i just don't think that just because i'm naked it means sex porn slut like we were just it was a nice moment we and we took a photo like it was not i don't think that that photo at all insinuates to sex or anything gross anyways this is a skincare video so i'm gonna shut up but basically the message that i'm trying to spread is like just because you think it's okay and you're entitled to have your opinion and because I'm on social media and I put myself out there then I should be able to take it and that I deserve it. Just sometimes just think before you write or give your opinion, just know that it's like, well, it's gonna start just so much shit. Like it just is, it just does. All right, vent, rant over. Um, I just got up. And I did do a 10 minute um, LED mask in bed because I was so puffy, like this is not even the beginning of it. And um, so I did my Pepico LED mask on the yellow setting for 10 minutes. 
Now I'm gonna start by cleansing. I like to use DMK Milk Cleansing Lotion. I go in dry. And I like to use this time in the morning as well, just to really massage the skin a little bit because it will help with blood flow. And that helps to make you look alive and not look like um, you've just been stung by a wasp's nest on your face because that's what I look like now. I'm so swollen and puffy. I look like my dad and he's 124 kilos. Not that there's anything wrong with that. He's still a legend. All right, add a little bit of water. This um, cleanser doesn't really lather, which is also quite stunning. You know what? There's no clean towels because Michael's used them all. Actually, he hasn't. But um, in that, in saying all that about the trolls, there were so many beautiful messages from people and people that just get it. And like that, that shit warms my icy cold heart. Like some people just get it and it's like, it's so nice to know that there's normal people out there. Then I go in with the pore reduction drops because um, I love these. Obviously they reduce the size of your pores. They also help to um, reduce hair growth on your face if you have that. And I actually do have that because I'm Greek and I just feel like boggy skin is hairy. Um, I have a light layer of hair over my whole body. I'm hairier than my boyfriend. And that's okay too. All right, then I like to go in with just like a really light hydrating gel because I'm going to wear sunscreen. So I don't want to, you know, put on like a really thick moisturizer. I just need something light to hydrate that first little layer of skin. And then I'm going to go in. I'll either use one of these two. So the beta gel from DMK or the polyglutamic acid from NK. This stuff is awesome. I do love it. But I think today, because it's so humid here, I'm going to go for the beta gel. It's just a little bit lighter. Don't forget your neck, kids. The neck's part of the face. I said it once and I'll say it again. I even take the beta gel under the eye. Just because I'm so obsessed with this product, the Sika Pear from Dr. Jar, I'm gonna put a little bit on my cheek area because that is the area that I get a little bit of inflammation on. Oh, she likes that. Oh, eye cream. Never, ever, ever do I skip this step, no matter what. I'm using the Cosmetics Eye Fusion Eye Cream. This is actually a two-step eye cream. I love that for me because I love, just more is more. Two steps of eye cream, honey, give me that. And this eye cream, the gel side is so nice. I literally can feel it tightening my eye area. I go above the eyelids, underneath the eye, and I also like to go above the eyebrow to keep this skin firm. Because if that starts to droop, then that's what we're gonna get. So I like to keep that really firm up there too. Step two of this is more of a creamier, consistency which i like that because when you wear makeup any sort of makeup will just suck like leach the moisture out of your skin so a thick emollient eye cream under the eye is going to help to protect your under eye area from any makeup and just pat that in with your little thing with your ring finger you always use your ring finger when you are applying eye cream always it is the weakest finger so you don't apply a lot of pressure and tug or pull at the eye area and also it's just got that perfect little shape to just get right in there. Okay, now the, uh, the sunscreen that I'm gonna be wearing today because I ran out of my zinc that I usually wear and the zinc that I do usually wear is the um, invisible zinc. It's the invisible zinc. I'm just gonna put a headband on. I really wanna get in there with the makeup. Cute. There she is. Um, okay, so it's the Dermalogica Pure Light 50 Plus. Can you see that? I don't know. So I'll probably use like two teaspoons of this. So I go one, two, three full pumps on my whole face. And you just really want to go hard with that. You put that on thick. Basically, I want to look like I've dipped my face in Vaseline after I have put my sunscreen on. And then another one or two pumps on the neck. Oh, don't wanna to show too much chest if people might get offended. I don't know, then sometimes I doubt myself and I'm like, maybe I was wrong, maybe I shouldn't have posted that photo. 
but then I'm like, then I just talk to my mum and she's like, my mum's like, who cares, man? You look hot. People are jealous. You're young. She's so funny. No, what did my mum say when I said to her? They're losers. Yeah, the tinted moisturizer that I'm going to wear is the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. I love this because it's mattifying and it's really light. It's just a tinted moisturizer. I might put it on with my hand. I might not. I probably won't. But um, this sunscreen, it does dry matte. Okay, now I have blended that all the way in down to my neck, just using that pressing motion. Um, then what I like to do sometimes is I grab a tissue and just open it up. I always do this after my foundation. And then what I do is just um, and what this will do is just take off the excess. Just that little bit that sits off the skin. You know? So have a look. It's just that little bit of makeup that sort of sits off the skin. And then it gives you a nice um, finish. So I don't like to wear a thick concealer or anything heavy under the eye during the day. I just want something to have a little bit of brightness. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Alice Fast Concealer. I like this because it's light and really natural. I think I just ran out of it. No, I didn't. Just a little bit in there. And also this area, because I hate this area of my face right now. Might use a brush just to fan out that initial little bit of um, makeup. And then I like to use my finger. Then just using my finger, I'll press that in like that. Um, now, I don't like to bake either during the day because I don't want to look powdery and like, I don't know, like I've just dipped my face in powder, like in the sun, you know, and then you're going to sweat. It's going to all move around. So the last thing you want in natural daylight is to be wearing a lot of um, powder. So what I will set my under eye with and like the areas that I want to brighten is the Huda Beauty um baking powder in the color cupcake it's got a sort of a pink tone i love anything under the eye to be really pink here and here then i will go in with my laura mercier a light dusting a very light dusting of translucent powder just here on the sides of the face and just like say the rest of the face then i will go in with my bronzer now the bronzer i'm currently loving i have used every bronzer ever first i'm going to take the foundation off my lips because it's gross there she is she's got lips i had literally like months a few months ago i got all my lip filler dissolved and now I feel like I've got no lips because I have that lump there and I thought that was filler, but it's not. It's just some, I don't know, something where my lip is. Anyway, but I don't know. When I put lip liner on, I like it, but now I just feel like a bit of a small mouth. Anyway, so the Revlon Skin Lights Bronzer. Love, love, love. And you know how I do my bronzer, starting really way back. In the daytime, I like to use my bronzer as a blush because I don't really want too much color on my face. I'm trying to look natural here. I'm trying to look like I'm just, you know, I like to pinch the nose in a little bit. And I don't know what I've just done to my nose now. It looks like a snout. I look like a fucking flutterpuss. I don't know what sort of, that's not really contouring, but anyway, drag that out. When I'm really tanned, I like to um, get my bronzer on the tip of my brush and just sort of like sweep it across this part of the face like that, like that. Just the high points of the face. Think of where the sun hits. Right up there it would hit. Oh, she looks sun kissed. Get the jawline, shave that jawline off. I recently had my jaw done 
I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram by um, Dr. Face, Vilma, my doctor who does my fillers. She's giving me like a more of a snatched jaw and I'm all for it. Next, I won't really wear any eyeshadow. I'll just get um, my bronzer. This is the Hula bronzer by Benefit and I'll just sort of like smoke out this area here just to lengthen the eye and give me a little bit of depth. I feel like really dark, like dark girls, dark hair, eyes, brows. I feel like if their eye, I don't know, I just feel like if the eye isn't like enhanced a little bit, it's just not a vibe. That's my opinion. I'm scared to say anything now. I can't, I have to say, that's what I think. That's my opinion. Fuck me, man. People are so sensitive. I can just see it now, like some dark, but like, oh, excuse me, but I'm dark and I like to wear my eyes completely natural and I think that's beautiful. Okay, now what's gonna happen right now, because I know myself, is I'm gonna pick up some eyeshadow and I'll start putting on eyeshadow. Cause that's who I am at my core. I'm gonna pick up the toasted by Benefit. I'm just gonna go on the other corner a little bit. There she is. I'm gonna blend this bitch out. Okay, now I look like I'm going to the Met Gala. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it now. I've got to stop. I've got to stop. I've got to learn. How can I learn? I'm sick. Bit of a brow, not much. I had my brows um, feathered or tattooed, whatever you want to call it, um, recently or not long ago by Susie McIntosh in Melbourne. She's actually in Melbourne and Sydney, by the way. Um, and it's just like so good because now I save like 20 minutes every day. I will put on some brow gel. Just because it helps to take out the product, like the bronzer and the foundation and all the other crap we just put on. Next, I like to tight line. I do this every single day. I'm obsessed. This is currently, um, I'm currently using, this is the, um, Kat Von D. This is called Cake Pencil. Yeah, it's good. I like it. This one. Um, now, this is the Urban Decay. This is a brown eyeliner called Whiskey. It's the 24 7 Glide on Eye Pencils. This is like one of my favorite colors of all time. And my hair straightener's on. And I'm going to burn down the whole building. And then, what I do is I like to just go here. It doesn't have to be neat. And just sort of like on that outer corner because I want to just lengthen the eye a bit. That's it. Just spread that out a bit. Just a little bit to just give the, an eye, the eye that little bit of length and lift. I want more than the other, which is that every day I do this to myself. That's fine, Martha, get over it, no one cares. This is really not blended what I do really for most of my lashes. I just use one strip and cut it in half. Genius. Thrifty too. So just a light little lash on, not much. It's nothing really. Don't get emotional about it guys. It's just a strip lash. This is the Elizabeth Arden Grand Entrance Mascara. I'm just doing one little swipe under there. One under there, that's it. Next, I'm going to go on with my lip liner. This is MAC in Oak. I'm currently loading this right now. It's completely blunt, so... But what is lip liner? What is it? How good is lip liner? And there's her mouth. You don't want to overdraw your lips too much in natural daylight, you know? It's, it's fucking horrific. There's nothing worse than like an overdrawn lip in natural daylight. It looks like someone's just eaten bolognese and gone <laughs> and then just like left it. I'd love some bolognese for breakfast. I want pasta. Mary's daughter. What a lip color. All right, then I wear the Elizabeth Arden eight hour lip balm and this is SPF. So that's why I wear that one. That's it. 
I think I'm done. I'm just gonna do my hair a little bit and um, I can show you guys what I'm gonna do. Very simple, very easy. I just do the fronts because frizz. And she'll go up, in, out, in. Just to match my natural wave, that looks like absolute crap. But anyway, you know, you get the gist, something like that. I can't really be bothered because I'm gonna be swimming. But you know, still, might get a photo down there. And that's me guys, done. That's my day or morning routine or how I get ready, like just for a normal day. This is what I do like on vacation for the pool. Actually, this is my everyday look. This is it. Um, yeah, it's really light, it's really comfortable. I, I will go in the water, like I don't care. I get it wet, it lasts, it usually lasts all day. Um, but um, yeah, that's me. That's my skincare done, my face on for the day. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll get back to you. Be nice, guys. Be nice. It's a cruel world out there. But um, thanks for watching. Okay, I also thought I would just add how I travel with some of my makeup and my skincare. So I have this um, bag, which is like the most incredibly helpful and just, I don't know what I'd do without it um, bag. It just separates everything perfectly and it just, it's so good to travel with. It's, I take it on board. Um, so I have my makeup, skincare, my makeup, like foundations, concealers, some powders, lashes and eyes. This here, I've got like all my eyeliners and stuff in. Um, this is actually my Foreo toothbrush came in this and then I ended up just keeping it. And in these two wallets, I keep my um, brushes. Some more skincare, a mirror because some hotels just have the worst mirrors. Oh, that's a cute double chin there. But some hotels have the worst mirrors. So you sometimes I have had to do my makeup in like the smallest little eyeshadow mirror and it's bad. So always a little mirror and um, yeah, that's basically it. This bag is by Etoile Collect Collective. Um, they do amazing makeup, organizing, like bags, trays, lighting, everything. Um, anyway, just thought I'd add that in.